taking over the game one step at a time everybody has these dreams of being first in line it may take a little while before we reach the light we just gotta take what we what is going on you guys michael entity here and right now i'm at the regal theater in gilbert arizona i just got out of watching father stew starring mark Wahlberg as stuart long a man who is desperately struggling to find like his outlet like something that he has been destined to do at first we see him as a boxer and then he tries to make it out in hollywood as an actor and over the course of that time after finding the love of his life he decides that he wants to become a priest and unfortunately with somebody from his back background it's kind of really hard to do and overall I was really excited for this film I'm a really big fan of Mark Wahlberg my favorite film uh one of my favorite films of last year that he did was Joe Bell which was a very raw and very like emotional film like that was the definition of like a melodrama if you guys haven't seen Joe Bell I highly recommend you watch it that was a very overlooked film last year very mixed reviews from critics but I personally love that film when Mark Wahlberg is given the right material he can really shine and this film looked no different even though the trailer if you have seen the trailer if you haven't i'd say do not watch the trailer if you want to watch this film i unfortunately saw the trailer when i went to go see uncharted and it gave away pretty much the entire film so honestly i didn't really know what to expect with this film and i will say you know what after seeing the movie from seeing the trailer it kind of does give away a lot of key elements but um this film was actually decent i don't think this is a perfect film but i wanted to get into some of my pros before i get into my cons because i do have quite a bit of them which is obviously mark Wahlberg. i think he shines really well in this performance and apparently this was also a passion project for him because he had trouble getting the film funded i mean for a man like mark Wahlberg, a household name he had trouble getting this movie funded so he pretty much just said fuck it I'm gonna fund the film myself because he was really passionate about this film and you gotta give a lot of respect to him. And having finally seen the film, I can say Mark Wahlberg really shines in this film. The performances all aside, I mean, you got Mel Gibson and then Malcolm McDowell is even in this film as a priest. And then there's a couple other actors, which I don't know the names of. All the acting across the board was really great. Um, the story itself is also really inspirational. I don't know the actual story. I didn't know the actual story going into this film, but it's a very inspirational story about somebody who has a very dark past and is trying to better themselves and to and it takes like a while for them to finally find what is really making them the person that they've always wanted to be even though they've really had the struggle to become that person overall the story was very inspirational but if i had to be honest uh the way the film is structured is a bit odd it's not like this is a film where it's constantly going back from the future to past there are a couple scenes where it does go back to the past but it doesn't do it a lot the way this film is structured is a little bit weird. It does cut away from a lot of scenes that I feel like we needed a little bit more information about. And then sometimes like there are scenes in the film where I kind of just scratch my head and go, did we really need that scene? The film opens up with uh, Mark Wahlberg's character, Stu, as a young kid. And we see Mel Gibson, uh, who's playing as his father. And that opening scene in general was a bit weird. Like, I don't know why they opened with that. I feel like the film should have just opened up with Mark Wahlberg where he's getting prepared for a boxing match. I felt like that would have been just a more cohesive intro to the film, but because of the beginning of the film, it shows like Mel Gibson drinking and he just looks at his son and goes, eat your fucking vegetables. It's like, what is that even? Like, I, I don't understand what the point of that, it, the intro of the movie was. It's not like it was really setting up these characters at all. So that's why I felt like there are certain scenes in this film that really didn't need to be in there, especially another scene with Mel Gibson where he's driving and he starts road raging against this guy that cut him off. I just kind of felt like, what was the point of this scene? Like, what is this telling us about the character other than he gets mad because a guy cut him off? I mean, that's something that a lot of people can get mad about so i just don't understand what that scene really had to do with elevating this specific character i also felt like the relationship between uh mark Wahlberg's girlfriend in the film i don't know the actress's name i felt like the relationship was a little bit kind of tacked on and forced at some points and for all i know this is that's probably how they did meet in real life and that's probably how the story actually was i just feel like the way they put it into film was kind of just a little bit forced and just too tacked on and it was kind of just making you go like eh, i mean if this love story was real sure but the way they put it into the film they definitely could have done a much better job there's also a part in the film which i didn't really kind of get like 
like I said earlier, there were certain scenes that we were missing a lot of information. Like it shows a part where Mark Wahlberg is trying to desperately make it into Hollywood and he's talking to this agent who's pretty much saying like, if you want to make it into this business, you gotta, you know, you know what, you know, that, that kind of shit, you already get what I mean. And a, a couple of scenes later, it shows Mark Wahlberg doing like a mop commercial and you're thinking, when did this happen like how did this go like how did this happen because it shows mark Wahlberg struggling in the hollywood business and then a couple scenes later he gets the keys to a house and he's like in a commercial it's like where did this come from like i did not see any scenes building up from that overall mark Wahlberg is really great in the film it's a very inspirational story but the way the film is kind of structured here and there is just a little bit incohesive i just think like this film could have been really great but this film is not terrible i just think it's a decent drama i'm gonna give father stew a b guys thank you so much as always for watching my reviews and yes before you say anything i know i have I pretty much promised that I was going to review all of Michael Bay's films leading up to his new film, Ambulance, which I actually did see last week. I will get into that. I've just been really busy. Well, I guess not really busy if I'm uh, here to see a movie. So anyways, thank you so much as always for watching my reviews. Look forward to more coming soon, and I will see you guys next time in the new movie review. Peace. Everybody has these dreams of being first in line. It may take a little while before we reach the light. We just gotta take what we gotta make sure that we make it right.